In this lesson, we will be learning about Nuke Studio and how it falls differently in the Nuke product lineup from what we've seen in the past. We'll also be taking a look at the slightly new interface and how it's changed since previous versions of Nuke. Okay, so I am just opening up Nuke Studio here and I've just created a new project and saved it as 02 underscore begin. So that's in your project files. But I have all the default preferences set up. There's nothing that I've changed here. So you can just go ahead and open up Nuke and begin here with me. So this is Nuke Studio and you can see that it does look a little bit different than what we're used to um, in previous versions of Nuke. So we still have our trusty properties bin over here but now we've got this sequence panel here at the bottom we still have our node curve editor and dope sheet tabs so that's the same but now we've got the sequence one and then we've also got this project panel so that's a little bit different than what we're used to seeing um, and the way this is tabbed up here looks a little bit different also and you can see that maybe up here at the top things look a little bit different so we've got a few subtle changes but then there's echoes back to the nuke that we have known and loved forever so let's talk for just one moment about how nuke s is a little bit different so nuke studio nuke s that's the same thing kind of the same as how we had nuke x before and a lot of the time you're going to be working between nuke x and nuke studio and in this course, that's what we'll be doing. We'll be working with Nuke X as our compositing uh, portion of the project. And then Nuke Studio is where we're going to bring everything together kind of at a more top level. So Nuke S is actually a step higher in the Nuke and Nuke X hierarchy. So before we had Nuke and Nuke X, and now Nuke S is kind of above those because it has all of those features plus some from the Foundry's other software, Hero. And that is more of a shot management pipeline. Um, so we've got kind of this shot management idea happening here with this sequence view. Um, and we'll learn a little bit more about how Nuke X is incorporated into that and how that works um, a little bit later on. So we're going to be having that top level of organization here in the sequence. And then we'll be able to drill down into those to begin working in Nuke X. Um, so we'll be using both of those throughout the course. So now that we kind of have a little bit of a look at this new interface and we can see there's a few new things and a few familiar things, let's jump into our next lesson where we'll be determining the project and sequence settings.